beautiful greetings 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 and welcome to her majesty blog where we bring together the world of pageants with the sole aim of revolutionizing the standards of beauty and creating a social development through women empowerment my name is demo and i will be your host for tonight on this particular series called it is within her we take a journey behind pioneering women in the world of pageants from industry founders to the queens to the judges to absolutely everybody behind the scene when it comes to pageantry and tonight we have an absolutely amazing guest with us but before we get to our guest kindly follow us on instagram on twitter we are there on youtube so look make sure that you are following us on all the social media platforms tonight we have an amazing guest she is Slindile, miss kzn like for now miss durban herself are you guys ready like oh my goodness my goodness she is gonna be joining us any minute now and we are about to have a great chat with her she is Selindile Ngubani and she is Miss Durban 2022. Let me quickly send her an invite to join the live. I am sure that it should be starting any second now. We are so, so excited to have a conversation with her. Lindile. Slindile. We hope you are here with us. Like we cannot, cannot wait to have this conversation with you can't see her account oh my goodness but i'm sure she should be joining us any second now but in case you didn't know i just want to say we are the award nominated yes as a hero nominated her majesty vlog and if you haven't yet voted kindly sms her majesty organization to 35959 and yes we absolutely cannot 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 wait for that day when we are announced the winners because look <laughs> we've got this in the bag and thank you so so much for all the love and support that you've been giving us we really really appreciate it Slindile Batum where are you my darling Slindile Slindile should be joining me any second now Okay, please tag her for me because I'm struggling to find her handle. But she should be with us. Handle is not appearing, but yes. Please follow us on Instagram, follow us on Twitter, and also show us some love by following us on YouTube. Catch up on our old videos as well. Catch up, catch up, catch up. Thank you for tagging her. Catch up on our old, old, yay, our queen is here. Thank you so, so much. Um, Catch up on our, yes, catch up on our previous chats on YouTube. It's just starting. So, so excited. I'm even having a song right right now. <laughs> I'm singing Slindile Siglindile, Dali. Like, <laughs> hello, hello. How are you? I'm well, thanks. And how are you? I'm okay, not being bad. Oh my God, my I think we are having a few technical difficulties, but you know what? This network shall not get in the way of us having an 
amazing interview. <laughs> Can you hear me clearly? Are we all good? <laughs> Yeah, I'm good and I'm looking forward to it. Don't be nervous. You're having a chat. Like, it's such a talk, Kanje, you know? <laughs> relax, relax, relax. We are just about to have an amazing, an amazing chat. Getting to know you, of course. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so, to start this things my off. Life. <laughs> it's my is first it? Time going oh. Back, so maybe <laughs> Look, welcome to the world of lives. Like, look, it's the first of many lives that you're about to have. I mean, queen. <laughs> Can you still hear me clearly? Yes, I do. All right. Stunning. Absolutely amazing. Oh, we're so happy to have you on our platform. And without wasting any time, let us get right to our um icebreaker question right and our icebreaker is currently who is your favorite miss south africa contestant uh is it a safe thing to say <laughs> is it how it's, it's, it's the safe space the safe space it's, you're allowed to have favorites <laughs> it's in luanda her instagram it's melanin lelo I do follow her. Oh, wow. Really like her. Oh, she takes it. <laughs> <laughs> You're crossing fingers to her. What is it about that that gives you this essay aura? Sorry? I'm saying, what is it about her that gives you Miss S.A. aura? Like, what do you see in her that says, yeah, this is my Miss S.A.? Maybe it's because I've known her before I knew that she has entered for the competition. Maybe that's why. Okay, okay. Uncle Sisi Langwa is asking, can you please project your voice, Queen Sisi? Sisi, sorry. I think uh, they, they're unable to hear you clearly, but yeah. Will do, will do, will okay. do. Uh, yeah, I think I've got that right now. All right. Getting right into things. Who is Celine Delay? Who is she from? Or what does she do for a living? Look, tell us all the great stuff about you. Hey, everything's been great. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, well, Celine Delay in Gubani is a 19-year-old that was born and raised in Nanda Township. Uh, I grew oh, up in yes. a female-dominated home. That was my mom. Uh, my mom's sister, Ukoko, my brothers, my sisters. Uh, I went to two primary schools. That's a primary school in the neighborhood. And then I went to, I started going to a multiracial school, which was very challenging for me because I had to start adapting to new things. I had to wake up earlier going to school. I had to learn a new language. And then... After primary, I went to Evanport Secondary, and then uh, I went there to Matric. That's that's a school in Phoenix. And then after that, I came to DUT. Uh, I'm a horticulture student now, studying horticulture and landscaping. I'm now in my second year. Uh, Usain Dile is also a models trainer at SDP Modeling Agency. Uh, I'm also a founder and director of the Peak Performance Award, which is an accolade. So it's an award uh, given to reward merits. But I'm still looking wow. for more uh, because I'm a fan of academic excellence. So yeah. Mm, I'm still great. And I'm for more. Yes. Thank you. We love, love to see it. I think we want to see your beautiful self a bit, unless you are. I'm um, holding on to the phone. Can you please just, yeah, step back a bit for us? Oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes. <laughs> yes, please stay in the position for us as you answer our questions because, look, <laughs> we want to see your standing, standing self. So how was the trans transition for you moving from a township school to a multiracial school? Was that, like, a huge transformation for you or was it just, like, a minor adjustment you had to just adjust to? It was very challenging. It was very challenging because I had to I had to make new friends, number one. 
Okay. But besides making new friends, I had to learn a new language. <laughs> Everything was being taught in English from maths. Plus, we didn't have my home language as the first additional language. So that made things even worse. Even African teachers, they also spoke in this language that I never knew. Mm. So that became that became very challenging for me. <laughs> yeah, because now the time I went home, I'd be very exhausted that I didn't even know which homework I have. And then mm. the next day, <laughs> I've been traveling with the teachers. <laughs> oh my God. Because so now you're trying to understand maths in English. Like you're trying to understand the English itself. Exactly. Before even understanding what maths is, you understand. And then you're so used to it being taught. Yes, Zulu, Banja, you must adjust, but you know, like it's taught in English. I need to understand this English first before even understanding what content that I need to understand. Exactly. And from the school where I came from, my first primary school, which was next to my house, I think all the teachers knew me because I was this smart child. I was this very mm-hmm. smart kid. And then now having to transition <laughs> from this school to that school, I was the flagship of the class. Ah, <laughs> I was so bad. But it was only for that time until I got to understand the language and then it was all good. I think it's often said about, you know, when one shifts from primary school to high school, that you know what, you start being this big fish in a small pond. And now that you are moving to a new school, you are now this small fish in this big pond small because now you know, <laughs> yeah you know you no longer that you know oh wow <laughs> it comes with growth it comes with you know what being who you are today so look it was necessary it was quite necessary <laughs> <I'm really bad>. <laughs> <laughs> and you seem like a go-getter i mean if you could achieve that honestly speaking look The world is absolutely your oyster and your soul limitness. What keeps you motivated? My peers, my peers keep me motivated, honestly. Nah. I've seen a lot of them fall in the wrong paths, if I may say. A lot of them mm. also uh very influential. A lot of them are, are in business. A lot of them are not in business, however, they have find they have found what interests them and they're making the most out of it so if they can do it why can't i oh yeah and it doesn't necessarily mean i have to do the same thing but i i can also stick to what i like yeah stick to what what keeps me happy and make the most out of it that's what oh, keeps me motivated <laughs> also the the goals that i have set uh i have to make sure that they're attainable plus the deadlines in school mm. that's also another thing that keeps me very motivated and, and very busy i can imagine the kind of remembering the kind of upbringing that i had and knowing i don't want the same thing for my kids mm. so i have to do things 10 times better than whatever my parents did that's true What a beautiful answer. That is so profound. And I can imagine that school also just keeps you extremely busy and you know what? You oh always just God, yes. right. You always just try to compete against yourself to meet the standard and to really just go above and beyond when it comes to your next result, your next test, your next assignment and so forth. All the deadlines. Ah, wow. But I miss the They can all they can all give you the same deadline but it's no one's business. <laughs> yes, and you need to just show up like they don't care what's happening in your life and that's the thing about school it doesn't wait for you it doesn't say hey you're going through a lot it doesn't say a deadline is a date and you just need to stick to it. And 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 the humans you also have like a lot of emotional bargains that we have to carry by ourselves that has absolutely nothing to do with school. Exactly. Okay. Just exactly. Keep on keeping on. That's it. You are that girl Papeyo and Ekaya and you know what? Here is all the pressure that is just being brought by school as well to put the cherry on top. Eh, eh, eh. It's difficult but as queens we really just keep on keeping on. 
and as you mentioned that you know what like, you're busy and it's always just a rush what do you do to unwind what do i do to unwind oh thanks god i have my roommate hey mama <laughs> <laughs> hey mama <Zama. laughs> Yes. Is she by any chance with you in the room? Did she step out of bed for this interview? She she left the room because of oh. the sound echoing, and she would, would have loved to send her some love. <laughs> But I'm sure she'll watch this and she'll be like, "Hey, I'm appreciated." She is watching. Oh. Yeah. Wonderful. <laughs> so besides yeah. chilling with your roommate, what would you say you do to unwind? Or what do you do to unwind with um, your roommate? We do go out. We do go for some mini shopping to buy my mm. makeup, buy a few things, and then uh, I do go to the gym. I go to the gym to unwind. I try to nice. go like almost every day, but I can't make it every day, of course. Sometimes, if I do have time, I do read books. And another thing I can say I do to unwind. is to order from Uber Eats. <laughs> If that's a real thing though. Food is therapy, girl. Food is therapy. So I highly understand. Look how you relate. Food is therapy. <laughs> order food. That's my version of unwinding. I love it. <laughs> It's been really oh, wow. <laughs> lovely, lovely, lovely stuff. That's the main reason why you are here. Pageantry. Mm-hmm. Where and when did your pageant journey begin? I can say uh from the time I got into high school, I think that's the time I knew I wanted to be a model. But I didn't mm-hmm. really know uh what type of model I wanted to be. You see, their runway, their fashion. And then as time went by, uh I would see more pageants and That's what I ended up falling in love with. I think that's what I fell in love with initially. However, I didn't really know how to differentiate it from runway. I thought models are just models. You can do everything if you're a model, mm-hmm. you know. So, uh after school, I finished school in 2019 and then 2020 I took a gap year. So, uh during that gap year, there was pandemic. I think okay. 2020 is, is when the pandemic started, right? 2020, yes. yes. And then I saw this poster. Um, my friend, my friend's sister was hosting a pageant, and then I saw mm. this poster, and then I t- I told my mom, because my family before I started, my family was so against it, anything to do with modeling, they were so against it. Yeah. And every time I asked them, I am telling you, I'm being, I'm, I'm being dead serious right now. Every time I tell them that I want to start modeling, oh, it would be a huge fight. And then I decided to just stop talking about it for like a long time. And then until this time when I saw this poster, uh, where my friend's sister had advertised that she's hosting a pageant, and then I just told my mom, "Mom, I I need, I need this amount of money because I want to enter a pageant." She didn't ask questions. She just gave me. And I was so surprised. <laughs> oh my god, I was so surprised. I was so happy. Like I was so happy. At that time, bear in mind that was my first pageant and I I thought I had it. God. I didn't mean though. <laughs> I didn't mean. However, I was in the top 5 and and that's really motivated me in to keep trying because I felt If I am able to be in the top five and it's my first time, I think I can do better the second time. Definitely. Yeah. It's extremely wow. Your very first pageant. I mean, wow. That was the time. <laughs> and I think the timing as well was so perfect because, like, you know, you were asking yourself, "What how ma nguelo?" Like, it's so welcoming of me entering my pageant. But all this time you were against it. I think you know what? When the time is right, everything just comes together and aligns. So what did you know? You know, it all just worked out. I was very, I was very surprised. Till this day, I am. And when I ask her, she she has no answer. 
<laughs> it was just and, and now they're my biggest value. supporters they're my biggest supporters right now oh wow shout out to your family <laughs> shout out to other... you as well watching because <laughs> all my other patients they, they've attended from that one Oh, wow. That is absolutely amazing. And what unique flair would you say you bring to pageant in, in, in the, the pageant industry as a whole? Like, what is that, you know, X factor about Celine Dillard that you bring to the pageant industry? Uh, first and foremost, I think that's all the girls that I've competed with in the past. I think they're beautiful, they're capable, and they can do as much as I can do and far better than I've done. However, what really sets me apart from the rest of them is how I have been trying. I can't say I've been doing it. Uh, <laughs> how I've been trying to to market this industry as any good spokesmodel would into trying and getting more models, more pageants to join in the industry. Mm. Yes. That's, that's what I think sets me apart from the rest of them. I'm not a special collector. If wow. you understand what that is. <laughs> Elaborate, because I'm interested now. You're not a special collector? You are a... <laughs> oh, I think we're experiencing a bit of a negative problem a now. I'm not a special collector. Yes. I commit myself. <laughs> Yes, 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 yes. That is absolutely amazing. And it is that very commitment that has made you miss Durban 2022. I mean, congratulations on that. Look, how did it feel being crowned Miss Durban 2022? Oh, my God. <laughs> Take Every us back. Time. Give us all the emotions you felt. <laughs> Every time someone asks me this question, that I, I think I get the same reaction. Oh, I don't know how to. Explain. I don't know how to explain the winning moment. However, it was very exciting, and so this this day I can't express the excitement in words. But I remember saying one thing when my number was called because uh, we have these little numbers that we get called on with on stage. So when my number was called, oh my God. <laughs> I remember <laughs> the only thing I said was, yes, I did it. Uh... I was so excited. I was so happy because I, I knew uh, I didn't let them down. All the, yes. Not just my family, but people from school, people in the neighborhood, people that didn't even know me people that just thought I was pretty and they should just vote for me, you know? Mm. So, so I I was very happy. I was happy to have brought it home, to have brought it in the neighborhood, to have brought it to school. Like, I'm the Mr. I'm the only Mr. Durban in DT. Okay. Come on I'm now. The only, Come on. the only Miss Durban in Durban. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you yeah, still there? Kidding, I have a question for you. Why are we still there? I'm kidding, so we get confused. True. We get confused. On social media, there's Miss Durban. There's Miss KZN. That's there's Miss Durban as well. There's Mr. and Miss Durban. There are so many pageants that have to do with Durban itself. Do you guys ever meet somewhere and just, you know, engage as as as, as pageant? Queens and kings from Durban. Do you know Miss KZN or do you know Mrs. KZN? Because we, oh, for us to find you, it was just that thing of, like, is it the same girl who won Miss Mr. and Miss Durban? Or is Miss Durban a different pageant? Like, how does that work? <laughs> well, that's, that's a story for pageant organizers, honestly. Because sometimes they do use title names if i may call it like that yeah uh, they're quite similar yes they, they sometimes use title names for different pages and just change the logo so i don't know how it works but 
One thing I know, I'm the actual Miss Durban, the official Miss Durban. You are the real Miss Durban, yeah, Durban Durban. 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 <laughs> The real, Miss Durban the real. Yeah. Oh, wow. My because we were so confused. Like, please make it the real Miss Durban. Because we were so confused with my partner. We are like, you know what? There's Mr. and Miss Durban. There's Miss Durban. There's Miss KZN. Who is who? And is there a point where these people meet? Do they even know each other, these people, you know? Because it would be so nice to have some, some sort of collaboration with all the pageants in KZN or, you know, something of, of, of that sort. Or sometimes you're even wondering if there is, you know, you know, it has to do with names, right? You need to be able to protect your name and, you know, trademark it and all those things. So we like, we wonder if it's not confusing having many misturbance, but like you say, with different logos and all those things. But you know what? If you can just put your caption as the real misturbance so these people understand, the then look, <laughs> there'll be absolutely no confusion. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So what responsibility do you have towards the Durban community as the face of the city? Quite a lot. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let me put it like this. Uh, as much as it is a lot of work, having to juggle between school, the SCP modeling training that I do, and okay. the duties of Miss Durban, uh, I don't feel it's much of a duty to me mm. if it has anything to do with working with people helping people and just yeah. being around people it's something that I close dearly I, I hold close to my heart so it doesn't have to be a job to me okay so what are some of the projects you're busy with with the community for example uh, I've been doing Quite a few charity works, uh, and I've been doing uh, what you call this thing? Okay, I'm for, I'm forgetting a name. Where? <laughs> um, relax, Dad. Relax. You can remember it and then tell I'm us. Relax. I'm just forgetting how, the name of giving back community work. A charity. Mm -hmm. I don't know charity. A way you go around helping people. Community service. Community yes. service. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Those are the things that I've been doing. However, uh, since I have won the, since I've gotten the title, there hasn't been much that I've done, honestly. Mm -hmm. Because I wanted a solid ground to start on. I, I, I don't want to do something and then in the next two months, I'm tired of doing it. And then I'm yeah. just giving up. So I wanted a solid foundation to start right. on. Yeah. Then you can just look forward to your project on, on your page and just follow you and see you hard at work in your community. <laughs> yes, and I'll be posting on Instagram. We cannot wait to see it. We cannot, cannot, cannot wait to see the amazing work that you get to do during your reign. So which other pageants um, are you like looking at? I like, do you have interest in entering, you know, at both locally and internationally? Um, I want national and international now, you know, mm -hmm. I want, I want to try KZN. No, yeah. I, want to try, I want to do KZN. Yeah. And after that, I want to try. Let me just say try now. <laughs> but again, we keep using the word try. No, no, not the problem. This word try. Yeah, because you're doing. You are doing. And you keep on saying you know, try. You are the queen of Devin. So you and did I'm it. Honest, and you are doing. You, you ah, don't even queen. qualify for these things. But what like makes you not to qualify? What is, what is the thing that makes you not to qualify? I'm like, I'm just wondering, you're already the queen of Durban. So, hey, these pageants should be looking for you next time. It's, they should be scouting you because, hey. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for, for the official Miss Essay, I don't really know what are the requirements right. yes. that make people not qualify because and I know a lot of girls who said they didn't qualify for the pageant. So that's why I say I want to try that out to see if it works for me. But I, okay. something that I really want. 
Yeah, something Love, that I, you, you, do, you do, you do, you do, you do, you do, and then when they and when they don't accept you, doesn't mean that you didn't do it. It just means that it just that isn't your year. You know, you keep on doing every single year. So your age requirements are still on point, and you are on point yourself. So definitely keep on doing. Go fetch that KZN crown. Go fetch that Miss SA crown. We can't wait to see you. Yeah, KZN <laughs> most likely, definitely. I mean, if not me, then who? How bad? How? That's what I'm saying. You're already doing. Like you are already doing. So I do not get that. Try, try, try. You are already doing. You are already doing. Ha! Huh. Wow. As a young woman in Africa, you know what? It's Women's Month. What is that one change that you would like to bring into our country, and why? Um, uh, one change that I can say that I would like to bring. Um, uh, I want to say this especially to girls. Mm -hmm. Okay, not, not only girls, everyone. Choose your role models wisely. That's number one. Mm -hmm. Number two, the change of mentality. Change of mentality in the young girls and in the young parents. Not having to be influential enough to be your child on your child you know and also as a child uh having the mentality of saying someone else is better than you yet you guys have the same opportunities in life you guys have the same opportunities at the table it's it depends solely on you how you use what's given to you you see mm. not necessarily given but how you use what what is in front of you what is attainable to you yes, yes. that's the oh, mentality nice. i wish everyone could have Just okay powerful so one day when we speak of slindile how would you like us to remember you uh Uh, something that I always preach is my outspoken ad advocacy of self identification and self worth. If you can get those two right, then you're good to go. Honestly, powerful. Ah, wow. Well. Well answered, like the queen that you are. And <laughs> as our final question here on Her Majesty. <laughs> We would like to ask you, what does beauty mean to you? Uh, okay. For me, beauty is is about accepting, accepting your flaws, mm -hmm. and also understanding that beauty is not just about the pretty face. It's the pretty mind, the pretty soul, and the pretty heart mm -hmm. that makes a beautiful wow. person. Yes. Oh wow, what a beautiful beautiful answer. Oh wow. It is such an honor. It has been such an honor to have you here on our platform. Team Dile Miss KZ. Yo, Miss Durban, excuse me, Miss Durban. <laughs> but, but I'm easy to exist then. You, you said you want to go to KZ. So now I'm manifest ah yeah 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 yeah. Like now I'm in the, the power of manifesting. <laughs> I, I, I'm in the spirit now. Like, no, I'm in the spirit. Hi, 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 hi. hi. <laughs> like, we are so more in the world, man. I'm in the spirit. I'm in the spirit. I'm in the spirit. Miss Durban. Ah, the queen herself, Miss Durban. 2022. And future Miss KZN. I mean, future Miss Africa as well. Look, it has been such an honor to have you on our platform. Thank you so, so much for sharing yourself with us. Thank you very much, ma'am. Oh, do have yourself a pleasant, pleasant evening. And look, we will be looking out for you on the socials. We cannot wait to see your amazing work and all the best for all your future endeavors. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, only a pleasure. Bye, Queen. Bye. <laughs>
And there you have it. There you have it. The amazing, the gorgeous, the stunning seeing Dile. We had an absolutely amazing time with her. Look, we enjoyed the chat. We hope you had as much fun as we did right here. Once more, I'm here to remind you that we are the award nominated, the South African Heroes nominated Her Majesty organization. And to get us to win the award, kindly SMS Her Majesty organization to the number 35959. That's Her Majesty organization to 35959. Follow us on all our social media platforms to catch up. Facebook, Instagram, IGTV, look, YouTube, we are there. Thank you so, so much for giving us the honor, the pleasure of your time. We really, really appreciate it. Do have yourself a pleasant, pleasant evening further. We love you. We appreciate you. From me, Demo, and the team, it is good night. Bye.